And this battle has been waging on for two weeks now. Or so it would seem. Uh, skipping this animation. Anyway, there is a random question that I need to ask everyone now. Do you want jaws or claws? No, you don't know what this is referring to yet. It is something that will come up in a later thing that I'm doing. And Gino is probably going to die. Yep. So now would probably be a good time to bring someone to life. But, uh, yeah, just vote either Jaws or Claws. I will count these up at some point, and then at some point in the future, this will become important. Somewhat. Yeah, I don't know. I just want this fight to be over with. And the reason... Yeah. I made a bulletin about this, but I don't know how often people see those, but... Yeah, the reason it's been so long since an update is because I got sick. In addition to the usual brand of laziness that comes with me not sticking to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule in the slightest. But, yeah, I don't know. Jinx, are you... Yeah. Okay. Apparently I was farther along in that fight than I thought. So... After you beat him the third time, we get the Jinx Belt, which is a pretty good item, I think. And so he goes to erect a, like, open from the hours of, like, the square root of pi divided by random sprite. No, never mind. Nobody knows what that's a reference to, but here's a hint. It's a thing I refer to all the time. Uh, safety ring, yeah, this one, I think the Jinx Belt prevents instant death. Safety ring prevents instant death and all statuses. This one seems to raise stats a bit more. Ghost Metal is just defense boost. So, I'll go with that, I'd like the prevent of instant death. Even if the Ghost Metal is a pretty good defense boost, eh. Let's see, my, yeah, boss battles magically heal you, so I don't have to is any more items there, which means I can finally progress the game and go to Bean Valley. Again. After ignoring bees. Or, I guess I might as well fight them, whatever. So yeah, in addition to being sick, there's also the matter of Brynna's cross-stitching requiring the computer, because... We haven't had printer ink in at least three years, and nobody's ever going to buy any. So, to get a pattern, we either have to print it out somewhere else, or just use it straight off the computer. So, Yeah. She hasn't been using it every day, it's just that usually on days when I'm actually in the mood to record and not sick, they kind of coincide. It is unfortunate. But I have I have tried the cross stitching now, and I made a little black mage from Final Fantasy One. It was very small, but it still took me several hours to do because I am slow at it. I don't know if this will become a regular thing that I do. I didn't totally hate it, but it was a bit mindless. I'll probably just make a few things, and then probably never do it again. I don't know. So yeah, this is Smilax. Uh, we got done with the Jinx boss, and now we're fighting this. And it has a very weird name. Th that's all I can really say about it. I used to... it used to be my flavor of the month random thing that I'll say all the time. Like how I usually say bagel or garage sale. For a while I would always say Smilax. I don't know. So, guess what? We got fight one head, and then two heads. Now we've got three heads. What a surprise. I could probably finish these off pretty easily with a special move, but they're not posing that much of a threat, so why bother? That was a very loud noise. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to be fighting these individually, actually. This is just a wee bit tedious. Get rid of that, er, whatever. 
I'll be saving it for the final phase. See, I like when they do that because it's a very short attack with no long drawn out animation. I don't know what it's actually doing. I imagine it's shooting an invisible dagger at me, but... Whatever, ambiguity is fine. As long as it comes with haste. Sounds like it could be some sort of an old proverb. Ambiguity is fine, as long as it comes with haste. So now we have the Mega Smile Axe. Which... Yeah, it's a bigger one. Sure is an interesting boss. And now it uses Pedal Dance, and I die. Oh, jeez. Okay, um... My god, I have a lot of Caracolas. Heal them up and hope that I have not already missed Mallow's turn. Okay, good. Because I wanted to use Snowy. Snowy is pretty good against this. I think the Super Flame is also, but... Snowy attacks all enemies, and you're not likely to have Ultra Flame at this point. I'm surprised that didn't kill them all. Did a lot less than I'm really used to, but I don't know. Uh, whatever, let's just get rid of the small heads, or heal, or do something, I don't really know. I, I don't have much to say about boss fights. And there's been kind of a lot of those lately. Has there? I don't know. I mean, it has been like eight weeks. The number of time will always increase every time I mention it. No, not jump. See, this one is easier to use, because all you have to do is bash on the button like an idiot. The other one you have to... If you're using a keyboard, it's a little bit more thought required. So maybe that's why it did such a low damage output. Ugh. The hell does that even mean? Eh, oh, yay, once again, mushroom time. Go me. Can I get a freebie on this? No, of course not. That would be too helpful. Come on, let's do more damage this time. I would have liked to use a Geno Boost, but no, he just had to use the Mushroom Attack. Yeah, that's that's really not doing anything. Okay, cool. I should attack him. attacking the one with the immunity. I love when they do that. Yeah, I guess... I don't know. Let me see if my... Okay, that wasn't quite as good, and then... Surprisingly, Gino has the worst attack out of the bunch, unless I just timed it badly. So, I guess that means Star Egg. I didn't get it for no reason. I'm going to be using the hell out of this item. Yeah, here we go. That's the original Flame Wall. If you'll remember way, way back in one of the original segments... When I was still recording this on console, I noticed that the flame wall looked different. Apparently, they toned it down for the virtual console because of a, like, seizure threat. I don't know, it isn't that bright and flashy compared to some other things I've seen in video games, but... It, I guess it could be a problem. Anyway, this note, uh... Gonna leave it here. It does stay, right? Yeah. I'm gonna come back for it later, because I don't want it to be taking up an inventory slot. And here we have... possibly the only standard Mario brick in the game, and it makes it be in stock, because why not? Yes, I said why not, but I wasn't really trying to, I just... suck. And so now we have Cloudland. That is what it is called, is Cloudland. Spelled... The Lund part is L apostrophe N-D. And we have Fat Troopas. And I don't really... Uh, I'll have to... Wait until I see another one of those. I don't know. Once again, the sprite on those confuses me a bit. 
Heavy troopers take uh, one full turn to get ready to launch, or maybe it's two turns, is it? I don't know. And then on the next turn they do a mediocre amount of damage against one character. Mute, an attack that never gets used, ever. I still don't know why I'm not bothering to optimize stats for these characters. And yeah, jumping on these is more annoying than it needs to be if you're on keyboard controls. I don't know why I keep bringing that up. And like the in Kaiser Mario and most of my other N64 LPs, I like keep going on about how it's not a big deal to be using a keyboard because for the most part it isn't. But this game brings with it a lot of awkward jumping angles that because you have to hold a run button and then quickly slide your finger over to jump, because you can't hold both at once. It's just annoying. So I might as well just save state here, actually, because I don't want to have to keep redoing this stupid jump. Well, I'm going to have to keep redoing the jump, but I don't want to fall down every single time. My god! See, this would be no problem if I could just hold all the buttons at once, but... It becomes somewhat of a... A riddle. Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait, got it. Can I get the coin? Was that all there was? I'm hoping so. I don't know. There are a lot of very happy clouds in the background. Oh, and now I must ask, have I told the... story of when I was playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii with Brenna with the puffy clouds and the Koopa shell. That's about as vague as I can get without spoiling it. But I... Lately, I cannot remember what random stories I have told or not. It's kind of annoying. Uh... I don't know if I'm... I, I have to go back. I'm saving there. I have to see if this green one leads to anything good. I'm sorry. I assumed the green one was just progress, because it was the easier one. Oh, god damn it. See, now I don't know which way to go. And I don't want to fight you. So whatever, going this way. We will eventually find out what the other way led to. I know there are item cloud areas in here somewhere. Ugh. Can I get through this area before this segment is over? Um... Surprised I made that jump. I remember that one being really annoying. Okay, so frog coin and rare scarf. I do not remember what the rare scarf does. I'd have to open the Mario Wiki to find out. Defense power... Well, more defense than safety ring, but without the benefits, I'm assuming. I'll, I'll have to look it up. Okay, more stuff. Can't complain there. And cloud people that we don't know about yet. We will find out about them in about 10 seconds. So, I guess I, I guess there's just alternate ways of getting up here. Point is, this place leads... that one leads to Nimbus Land. Which has super happy fluffy cloud people. And also the bird people, which... I won't address it now, but... Oh god, Valentina. Valentina has got to be... the most self-absorbed character in the game. And that's... kind of a... like... difficult thing to say, given that this game has Bowser in it. And Booster, but Booster's more emotionally confused than anything. And yeah, Prince Mallow. How about that? I hope we can get through this cutscene before time's up. Speed it up a little bit. Uh-huh, Prince Mallow's a big bird. Because, hey, why not? God, this... Okay, these notes are really high-pitched, and with the volume up, it's, like, kind of making me want to die. Sorry. I <laughs> have to keep turning it down. 
Oh my god, this music. It doesn't normally bother me like this, but it's just killing me. I don't know, we'll see, I'll see how it sounds in the recording. Okay, whatever. Yeah, she's Quinn. Ma Mallow's a bird. Real Mallow doesn't seem too troubled by this. Next time stuff.